Hello everyone, just going to do a video showing you how to set up Max 2 Play on a Raspberry Pi with the official 7 inch touchscreen and a Hi-Fi Berry deck. Right, so first things first, we want to go to the uh, Max 2 Play website to uh, download the image. I've got a shortcut already. So it's max2play.com. So if you go to uh, downloads on the right hand side, thing they've got, they've got a few different uh, images depending on your setup. But the thing is though, you've got one here, that's a standard image, you've got one here specifically for the Hi-Fi Berry. And also, if you scroll down, you've got one here for the seven inch touch display. But the thing is, you can use either of these, even that one, because you can add in the uh, plugins for the Hi-Fi Berry and the uh, seven inch touch screen afterwards is not a problem. It's easy to do. So the thing I do, you can either use this one, the Hi-Fi Berry one, or the seven inch touch display one for the Raspberry Pi. You just click here and it'll start downloading. I've already uh, downloaded it to my uh, PC, so I don't have to do that. Well, I'll just close that down. Thing you really want to take a note of as well is this. This is the link to uh, log into the Pi once you've got Max 2 Play loaded. So the thing I've done, I've just copied that to a uh, text file or to Notepad. Well, I'll just minimize that. So once you've downloaded the image, go to me downloads, it's a, a zip file. So all you want to do is unzip that. And inside, you'll have your uh, image file, which you need to copy to the your SD card. Right. I always use a USB image tool, but you can use any one you want, it's up to you. I'll put a link in the description. And also, if you've had anything else on that SD card, I recommend formatting it first, and I use a SD formatter, which I'll also put a link in for. So let's start up USB image tool. So the thing you wanna do, on the tabs, go to favorites, click add and it's already gone into my uh, downloads so it's that image there just click that that's loaded in so here is the SD card F so if I click that and then click that in the middle here you've got restore so all you want to do is click that click yes and it'll start copying the image to the SD card which could take about a minute so about a minute or so Right, that's done. We can now uh, plug in the uh, SD card into our Raspberry Pi. I've copied the uh, image to the SD card, so I'll now uh, turn on the uh, Raspberry Pi for the first time and let Max2 play load. Right, that's loaded onto the Pi. thing we did earlier, we copied this web address. This web address logs into the Pi, so you can uh, change the settings for Max 2 Play, so I'll just uh, open Chrome, paste it in. Now this is the uh, Pi control panel for Max 2 Play. The thing it's telling you first is there's an uh, update available. So the thing we do, we go to the settings and reboot tab, which is up the top here. So I just click that. And if you scroll down, you'll see update Max 2 Play there. So I just click on that and let it update. It uh, shouldn't take too long. Yeah, that there it's all done. And if you click on the links, it'll tell you a bit more detailed information of what's been updated. Uh, the thing I'll do as well, I'll just change my language. Well, it's already in English, but I'll change this over to uh, uh, London. I just saw you. There you are. Thing is, some of the plugins need a license to use, so you go to the main Max uh, Two Play website and buy a license. It's not too expensive, and you enter the uh, email address you used into there to activate it, so you have access to all the plugins if you need them. So I've just changed my language to Europe, London. So I click Save Settings.
and it needs a reboot. So for some strange reason, when you change the language, it needs a reboot. So I'll just do a quick reboot. It won't take too long to do. So that's a reboot done. Right, on this main page, if you scroll down, the thing I would do as well is expand the file system so you've got more room for plugins. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So if I click uh, expand file system, this doesn't take too long, but as like most things, it's going to need another reboot. Let's tell you what it's going to do. And click down the bottom, either there or here, to uh, reboot again. Won't take too long. And the Raspberry Pi is rebooted again, so it wasn't too bad. Right, so if you scroll down again, you'll find your available plugins, and these on the right hand side are the plugins which were already installed. And it all depends on the image you downloaded first time and what the active plugins are. So for me, I downloaded the, R, uh, the RPI display image, so that's already loaded and everything. And plus I've got Jive Lite. The thing I wanna do is add the plugin for the Hi-Fi Berry uh, DAC. If thing you see on the left, it's not there. So the thing you do, you come down here, this big uh, blue box, click on there. And these are the available plugins you can install. It's quite a few. If I scroll down a little bit further, you will find the Hi-Fi Berry. There it is. The uh, plugin Hi-Fi Berry. So if I click on the center there, and then on the left here, click here to download. It gives you a web address. Just copy it and click OK. Now go back to the main page, and underneath that, the uh, button you just clicked, you will enter the URL, uh, URL. So if I just paste in there, and then click Install New Plugin. And as you can see, up the top here are the key controls. If you click on, you get the settings for your plugins. So I've just clicked on Hi-Fi Berry at the top. Now I'm in the settings for Hi-Fi Berry. So here it's asking your installed Hi-Fi Berry card. So if I click there and I get the drop down, I have got a Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus for the uh, Pi 2. So if I click there, and click save. It's uh, wanting to do uh, another reboot. Before I do the reboot, if you look here, you have got some options to do quick setups, but I prefer to do it sort of like manually and set it up the way I want it to uh, work. So I've set up my Hi-Fi Berry. So I'll just do a quick uh, reboot. So just click there. We're just going to get another quick reboot on the Raspberry Pi. Which uh, shouldn't take too long. Pi is nearly done. Nearly done. And there it goes, the Pi's rebooting again. Right, the thing is, I have all my uh, music stored on a WD MyCloud drive, which is plugged into my router. So the thing we want to do first is set up the file system mount. So up the top here, you see file system mount. So click that. And this is where you mount your drives. So the thing I do, if you click show network drives, click there, it go looking for your drives on your network. And this is my music, uh, music public, public share. So I click uh, set path and it adds it in. Here you can just uh, either type it in or just copy that and paste it in. 
and do the same for CI FS, just paste it in. This one, where it says username and everything, just copy that e and say, even though I haven't got any password on my network drive, I still have to add, I still have to change a couple of things. So see where it says name, highlight name, and change that to guest. And where it says pass, I change that to guest as well. And then at the end, click save, and fingers crossed it should mount. Yay. Mount point successfully added. Successfully added. Can't say that word. So that's done. The thing is now, we want to uh, set up the squeeze box server. So on the top here, click squeeze box server. And we have to install it now. So just under there, you've got show available versions. So if I click there, they get added in. The top one's the main version, and then you've got nightly builds. I've used the nightly 7.9 a couple of times now, and it's always worked fine for me. With nightly builds, you find like a few bugs have been fixed, but there can be other bugs which have been uh, introduced. So if you don't want to take the risk, use the top one. But I've not had any problems using nightly builds. So I click that. And just below, it says uh, Squeezebox Server Start Installation. Click there and let that install. It shouldn't take too long and once it's finished this uh, sort of yellowy orangey box will uh, disappear. Right, that's finished installing. And now uh, scroll down a bit and you will see uh, install special plugins for Squeezebox server. You've got two options. I always go for the uh, top one, which is optimized for the Raspberry Pi. So click install chosen plugin. Shouldn't take too long to do. And uh, that's all done now. That's installed. The thing is, though, as you see at the top, it's asking for... Uh, to do a reboot so I go back up into settings and reboot and scroll down reboot update file systems and there on the left you've got reboot Just click reboot it shouldn't take too long right that's rebooted thing we do now we set up the uh, squeeze box server so on the top just on the right we've got squeeze box server so if I click that And up here you've got open squeeze box server web administration so i click that and another page will open up in here you can uh, set up an account with squeeze box which allows you to add extra plugins it's up to you you don't have to do that it's entirely up to you so the thing you can do is uh, skip that part right this part here is where your uh, where your music stored so as mine is on my um, uh, network drive, which I set up earlier, the thing you want to do is look for this folder, MNT. Click there, and then you'll see Share come up. So I click there. Then I've got Shared Music, Shared Pictures, Shared uh, Videos. They're the folders on the drive. So I want Shared Music. So I click there. So it's added it. And there's, uh, there's all my music on the uh, network drive. So that's done. So all I want to do now, down the bottom right, you'll see uh, next. So I click there. Uh, if you've got any uh, a playlist folder, that can be added in. But as I don't, I'm just going to click next. Let's just turn you it's all set up with an account if you have one and what have you. So down the bottom right, you can click finish. If you see down the bottom left here, it's going to start scanning your library and it's going to start adding the music in and uh, update a database so it knows where everything is which can uh, take a little while so the thing I'll do I'll let this run for a while and I'll fast forward through this part of the video and uh, restart when it's finished
Right, that's all done. It's uh, updated the music library and updated its database. So uh, now we'll go uh, show you what you need to change on the uh, Raspberry Pi, which will only take a couple of uh, seconds to do. Right, that's everything set up now on the uh, Raspberry Pi via your PC. Now you've just got to change a few settings actually on the Pi via the uh, seven inch touchscreen. So all you want to do is pick your language. For me, English. And uh, just scroll down to the uh, joggler skin. Uh, keep this skin. And that's it, you're all done now. Everything's set up and ready to play. So I'll uh, click uh, my music. I'll go album artists. Uh, just try and find something where I won't get uh, copyrighted, fingers crossed. Uh, let's have a bit of left and right. And the uh, slash wave EP. Click on the first one. And there you go, all set up. So it's all set up now. And you're ready to enjoy your music. So I uh, hope this video has helped you to uh, set up uh, Max 2 Play on a Raspberry Pi. So that's all done now, enjoy your music and uh, goodbye!